All right, guys, we're taking it back to the Western New York steelhead slash trout fishing saga that I made earlier in the winter with my friend Brennan. So for this trip, we had planned to shore fish the Niagara River for five days in search of steelhead and lake trout. And as you saw, our first day there, we did pretty well catching a solid number of steelhead. Uh, on day two, the winds picked up and made the water dirty, resulting in very tough fishing, but we still caught a couple fish. But on day three... You know, with the dirty water, we decided it was worth it to make a drive to a smaller tributary off Lake Ontario in search of cleaner water and better fishing. And there would be steelhead in all these tributaries, but coming to this small creek, my main hope was to catch a big brown trout. We knew it would be few and far between with the browns, but uh, that was the hope. So anyway, this is day three and day four of our trip. I got some jigs. I don't have too much confidence right now. This is somewhere I've never really been. I don't have any spots locked in. I don't know, right behind this tree could be a good spot. I, ha I have a good feeling about trees. All right, well, we had fished about three and a half hours without getting any bites, without seeing any fish, and it was looking very hopeless. And I was throwing a bobber with beads or a bobber with a pink worm for most of the morning. And uh, eventually, you know, I was making a drift with no bobber and a pink worm, and I did get a bite. That's a fish. Oh yeah, baby, first fish, eh? First fish, eh? Oh, finally. Finally. Finally hooked up, man. This fish, I don't even know if he's fair hooked. Almost looks like he's snagged. Let's chase him. I think he's freaking snagged. It's the first bite I've had. Oh, he's fair hooked. He's pretty nice. All right, man, pink worm, no bobber. What else is new? I can only catch these fish without a bobber. I do not do well with the bobber. That's a pretty nice one. Virtually no fight, too bad I don't have a net. Ooh, look at that thing, man, fatty, fatty. First fish, definitely a fatty. Oh, we got him. Have a look at him. Look at this. Look at the girth on this freaking steelhead. All right, get my hands a little wet. Even though it's cold, look at the girth, man. Crazy, man. Let's have a look at him. All right, that's a nice steelhead right there, dude. Fat. So fat. Beautiful. Pink worm, no bobber. We're gonna let him go. That might be the biggest I ever caught, man. He's like, pretty big, pretty fat. So that was the first bite I got in like three and a half hours of fishing, and then like not a minute later, in like almost the same spot, That's another one, another fish. Oh yeah. Oh. Jumped him. Two bites on the pink worm though, pretty quick. So I got two bites back to back, and then there was another slow period where didn't get any bites for probably a couple hours. We're out here, Brennan got one I saw, he sent me a picture. So, seen a few other fish caught since I got here. But, uh, you know, nothing crazy. Everything is, like, a grind, for sure. It's definitely a grind. But at least I got on the board. <laughs> Caught a fish. I think I'm going to go make a move. Brennan said to come up to where he is, so I might go up there. Tried all different kinds of lures. There are beads and different stuff. Pink worms. What got the job done? Cold and windy, man. It is really cold. There's a fish. Fish. Oh! Broke off. Tough day, man. Steelhead fishing always losing fish. That one broke my line. Alright, easy. Easy rig back up, real quick. 
Yeah, that was like a smaller one too. Broke me off like that. I feel like these split shots, you know, if I put them on there too tight, I feel like it crimps the line and breaks fish off, but I don't know. Those are getting some action. It's my third bite. Hopefully we find another. That's a fish. Dang, dude. Nice fish, nice fish, nice fish. Nice fish. Wow, quick bite, quick bite. Yeah, this one's pretty nice. You yep. down river. Oh no, look at those rapids. He's about to go down. Tricky situation here, very tricky. The rapids, there's like logs on either side of the river. Just gonna try to catch this fish here. Very tense situation. Hooking a steelhead. A super light line I don't trust. Alright. Yeah. Then I broke that one off and then like two or three casts later hooked up. The one I broke off was small too. This one's bigger. Not much bigger. Oh dude, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. This fish is just sitting in this current. I really can't do much with them in this current. Hmm. It's not chrome. Nah, pretty black. Ah, oh. damn, man. All right, well, that was the last bite I got for a while until just before dark. Fish, fish, hey, hey, little fish. Look at this. Didn't even feel him bite. What the heck is that? Little little brown trout, huh? Not the Great Lake quality brown trout you're hoping to see, but Nope, oh, there he goes. Still right there. There he goes. Well that's something. So that was all we got for day three, and Brennan lost a really big fish. And uh, we decided it was worth it to stay a second day. So this was day two at this tributary. Finally got some egg sacks. I'm going to try these. And uh, just some split shots. Let's see if we catch them. Yeah, I got to go back to the car. I thought I put six pound floro on, but I put 10 pound floro on. Yeah, yeah. So I got to go get my six pound. Yeah, yeah. I'll come down. Fish on, yeah, on the 10 pound, nice. It's nice, yeah, dude. Think it's a brown? I was thinking it was a brown too, because he was like slow. Oh, my net man, yeah. He's holding right now, we'll see. I'm gonna let him decide. He's nice though. You saw him? He's heavy. Maybe it's good that I had the 10 pound leader. Yeah, damn, he's coming right, oh fuck, yeah. I'm not sure what to do with this freaking tree. Oh, it's a steelhead. Wow, he's coming up here. Yeah. Nice, he's coming up here. I'm surprised he hit with this 10 pound leader. Oh, it's a brown. Yeah, hell yeah, it's a brown. Hell yeah. He's just like dark, he's like purple. Here yeah, I saw that like that bronze color. Yeah. Wow. This is what I wanted, dude. He's like definitely like my personal best brown probably. Damn, I'm dropping PBs on this trip. 
He's nice? He's nice, right? I don't like how that stick is there, you know? He makes one turn into the stick, although he doesn't seem like he's gonna turn. I'm gonna try to bring him your way, here. Yeah, I hear you. No, you just stay where you are, I think you're good. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! That is a... It's nice. Oh. Yeah? He's huge! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Look at that thing! <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Oh my god. Mm. Look at his head. Look at his jaw. Mm. Mm. That is a fat trout. Alright. Those egg sacs, man. Dude, that's First freaking that's a sick brown. That's the, that's one of the sickest ones I've seen, dude. Yeah. Oh damn, look at the mouth, dude. Holy dude. snap. Oh that's a freaking nice fish, huh? Dude, that's a fucking slob. That's a slob, dude. That's a slob. The day is made. That mouth, dude. It's got someone else's hook in him. No shit. Let's see. Mmm. You got good pictures? Yeah, that's what we came here for. It's brown like that. How big? Eight pounds? Not, not, nine pounds? I feel like that's ten pounds? It looks ten to me. I yeah. Don't know. Damn. I've never weighed one, but. Yeah. That's sick. You got a tape measure? Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to take some pictures of this fish. I'm going to get back to you. All right. I just caught the biggest brown of my life. This is what we came here for. Early morning. 29 inches, girthy, and we're gonna let him go. Whoa. That's not a proper release. Where is he? He's right here. I'm gonna, oh, all right. There he goes. Terrible release for a beautiful fish, but. Mm. Still right there. Probably still get him like a proper. Here, here, I'm gonna get a proper release. Oh right, yeah, there he is. The kite jaw. Oh, that's a good burp. Burping. Morning burp. The snout, man. The snout. And ridiculous. All right. Yeah, your GoPro just turned off. It did? No, no, no. It's still good. It's still on. It's all good. Yeah. He's gonna not want to swim against this current. But. Oh yeah, there he goes. Day one with the egg sack. All right, that's the biggest brown trout I ever caught in my life, probably ever saw in my life. Very happy, already a great day. Good call coming to this creek. And um, got him on an egg sack, pink egg sack, size eight hook, 10 pound fluoro. I was just telling Brendan that I had to go back to the car to get some six pound fluoro, which I just got. This is what I just got. Uh, because these fish, I mean, they are line shy typically. Like it's pretty surprising. 10 pound line didn't bother that fish, no bobber. I can't catch a fish on a bobber, but we're gonna get back out there. I just got back. Let's see if we can catch some more fish today. All right, so that's the rig right there. Little hook, egg sack. Those are my split shots. All right, so we fished the rest of the day, maybe four hours without getting any other bites. Uh, the egg sacks weren't getting bites. The pink worm wasn't getting bites. And we were pretty much on our way out. I was throwing a pink worm. But, um, I don't know, I decided I was going to take a couple more casts with an egg sack right at the spot where I'd caught that brown trout. I'm going to take like three casts with the egg sack. Oh! Arrgh! That was a nice one, dude. That was a that was a nice fish. I don't know if it was a brown or a rainbow, but you see some? Oh, I see some. I just, I just saw one flash. Yeah, that's a fish. Oh, it's like the same fish, dude. Oh, it's nice. It's nice, dude. It's nice. 
See that thing? Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. All right, I just lost a beast and he got us tangled in this tree. Doesn't look like this is one's coming out. It's probably a lost cause. That fish hurt, man. There's like the same fish it looked like. It was a nice, there we go, nice fish. Man, it hurts. All right, well after that, we didn't get any more bites and we decided to leave. We checked out another tributary and uh, we didn't catch anything from the other tributary. And then the wind forecast was improving and it looked like the Niagara River was gonna be very fishable the next day. So that's what we did is we made a move that night and we went back to the Niagara River for two more days. So stick around at some point, you know, we'll get these videos up and uh, the best is yet to come.